Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back for the third Twilight Struggle stream of the day. Twilight Struggle is my favorite game. Uh, it is awesome and fun at all times. And today, uh, we also have a, we've got a recorded Atlantic League game between Tim Furrow uh, making his return to the competitive Twilight Struggle scene and Justin Nordstrom. It's an Atlantic League game, and I hope it's a good one. We will see how it turns out. I'm joined by J.R. Jones today. J.R., how you doing? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Um, excited to do some more Twilight Struggle to work. So, Yeah, that's good. So um, let's just get, go ahead and get started here. Um, J.R., what do you think of Tim's opening hand? He's the, uh, he's the USA under a new play deck name. Huh, I didn't notice that. Um, not a great hand. Middle East is a nice headline. You can't headline Purge because you have not very many ops. Um, but not a terrible hand. I think it's probably a little below average overall, but you don't hate to see it. You know you're at least not getting purged. Yeah, average ops in an early war hand, I believe, is 17 or 18, and this has only 15. But Middle East and Purge in your hand, you know, it's a great deodorant. Covers up a lot of stuff that stinks, and the rest of this hand stinks. Um, now, he does get CNS, so he wants to get that off for a couple of VP. He'll want a space decal and, heck, maybe even space AI war, although he'll almost certainly need the ops. Um, so not a terrible hand by Tim, and it's really nice knowing you're not going to get purged uh, on turn one or, of course, turn two as the U.S. So purge is maybe the number one card I want to see in my hand as the U.S., even if I don't like headlining it. Yeah, absolutely. It can just be so devastating in the early wars of the U.S., so... Just seeing it, even if you're not going to event it, is huge. Um, just yeah, getting that, getting that four ops, and knowing that you won't be purged is so nice. What uh, now? Another thing Tim doesn't have is he doesn't have a card to discard to blockade, so would have to dump Norad to it. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tim just not play around blockade and hope Justin doesn't event it. We will see what Justin, how Justin wants to handle this. Yeah, normally in this situation on turn one, I would space decall, but. That's also kind of a giveaway that you have to stall all the time. So here I would probably be more willing to hold it um, just to avoid that situation where he does event blockade because you really don't want to see a blockade here and lose one of your only cards above a two op. Yeah, that's true. A lot of players will just face decal turn one because they, they don't think they're uh, it's a good chance they can hold it through the early war. Uh, or through through turn three. Uh, but Tim has CNS, so he doesn't there's no rush to space decal for him. Uh, so maybe he will hold it. We'll see. Uh, Justin headlines Asia. And is he going to take the coup on Italy? Yes, he will. And, oh, he gets the big roll. Needed a wow. four, gets the five on Italy. So normally I like the Iran coup. The Italy coup with it sitting at four is risky. But with Middle East and Asia scored in the headline, it makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Asia, a pretty weak headline from Justin, all things considered here. Um, but... Does not mean he has a weak hand. You know, sometimes you just get a hand where you have a ton of ops, but no headlines or something. So we'll see what he does now. We'll see if he's able to instantly take uh, a Europe Dom on this turn with a three out. Yeah, and right away. So Tim Tim knows that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna challenge some of his plays, and right away I saw a play I didn't really like. I don't know. There's a huge rush to Malaysia with an Asia headline. You know, Justin doesn't have VR. You also know he doesn't have decal. I would have gone to Pakistan there. And then gone into India after that. Because you go one France, one Pakistan. Justin can't do anything about that in Asia. He's going to have to let you into India. Um, now, Justin has the opportunity. Tim hasn't gotten out of Iran. So Justin's got the opportunity to coup Iran again if he wants to. Now, it concedes Pakistan, but you're in, in good shape in Western Asia if you can get a roll. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Um, Malaysia, of course, feels pretty automatic a lot of time as the U.S. Air one. But in this scenario... Unless you wanted to spend two D stall ops into a scored Thailand, um, there's just he doesn't have anything to get there. So I think yeah, forcing the issue in Western Asia might have been better. It'd be yeah. a disaster if we saw uh, you know him get, clear Tim out of Iran here. Yeah. If he even gets one pit back in, I think we'd see Tim probably just coup Iran back at this point. Malaysia is such a reflexive. Um... AR1 play for the U.S., but in this particular case, I don't know that it was that important. Okay, UN of U.S. Japan, what's this going to do? Okay, going to South Korea. Oh, just going to take South Korea, not even... 
not even bother with Iraq or uh, trying to get into Afghanistan. Okay. Um, I, hmm. this, this seems to be space time. If Justin wanted to coup Iran, I think he would have done it last AR. Yep. I agree. Tim agrees. So that looks fine to me. I do still wish we were out of, uh, Iran, but it looks like we'll probably have a chance right here to do that. Yeah. I, I really would like to see Tim get out of Iran, but now Tim needs mill ops. Um, and AI war is annoying. Losing an AI war here would be problematic. Yeah, okay, finally does get out of Iran. Yeah, yeah tough. I, I think, like you said, we're just going to have to risk blockade for a turn. I think we need to play Purge next, and oh, then who with AI is. war. There oh. it is. I think you just don't discard. Right? I mean... Oh, you just don't discard and you use you use purge to just fill fill West Germany back up. Isn't that the same as just discarding it? I mean, you get well, to hold blockade, but... Well, yeah, then you get to hold decal. Or you get to hold decal. Yeah, I guess that is valuable. Um, you can always space it next turn if you draw D stall. Yeah, you get to hold decal. And if, you, and if yeah. you don't, you get to hold it through. Yeah, and you know you're not going to get purged next turn. Obviously, it's, it's not great if you get... If uh, you eat D stall. Uh, if, if you draw D, rather not eat, draw D stall next turn. But if you don't draw D stall, it guarantees it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Um, I guess, I guess it's fine. And he's probably worried about drawing a bunch of bad red cards next turn. Um, we have seen a lot of blue this turn come out of, um, Thomas's hand already. So, or not Thomas, Justin, sorry, too many names. Um, so maybe he's, uh, just worried about drawing a bunch of disasters. He doesn't want to have, potentially two cards in his hand that are un completely 100% never playable in decal and destall. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it makes sense. Getting, getting rid of a bad card, cleaning up your hand, you know, it's not, it's not a bad play, you know, worry about decal later is fine. Um, Tim isn't a bit of a pickle here. He's going to have to get mill ops. Yeah. Okay. Break, get into France, get access to Algeria. That's fine. And overprotect Italy was a must. Yeah, Tim really doesn't want to lose this war. He doesn't. That's a break for him. And we'll see a coup. Oh, he gets a coup on Iraq and hits the roll with a six. That's big. I mean, it's a shame that the Middle East is scored, but that's a nice roll there. And Tim, no doubt, was hoping to see Marshall plan in this hand and would have, would have allowed him to stop Europe domination. He doesn't get it. Uh, so he is going to be dominated in Europe, certainly, uh, barring some kind of massive misplay by Justin. Uh, Defcon is at four, so Duck is not good. Yeah, I think this has to be defectors. Don't you agree, Jr.? Yeah, yeah. Too many things out there that would be great to catch with defectors here. Um, Duck doesn't do a whole lot for us. It protects Asia a little bit, I guess. But yeah, yeah. I think this is pretty clear. Just defect. Yeah, and Suez isn't a bad headline here. Uh, Vietnam certainly isn't a bad headline here. Um, Even like a Nasser would be pretty annoying in the headline. Yeah, Sock Govs is around. De Gaulle. Lots of lots of good stuff. Uh, oh yeah, Nasser's great. Uh, duck and cover also in Tim's hand, so we know Tim will get a coup here if he wants one. So Tim, and Justin, you know, sorry, go go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say Justin taking a while here. I'm inclined to think it's because he has multiple good headline options rather than just nothing he wants to headline. Like yeah. you just listed, there's just so many good cards out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Suez is fine. Any of the Europe attack cards is fine. Um, I would most like to, to headline sock govs because it's a recurring event. Uh, Vietnam, uh, quite strong. And Nasser, quite strong. Um, yeah. I, 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 Man, lots of good choices. I was I was thinking I was gonna say Romanian, oh. um, but uh, yeah, fine. That, that's not a that's not a great hit on defectors. It's a little bit. It makes me think he might have destall, and it's a little harder for him to destall. I mean, he'll still find the ops, but he doesn't have a ton of uh, food for it at the moment. Yeah. Yep, that could be a could be a destall food issue. Could also be a card that you know it's useful. If it's it's useful if you don't get it defectored, and it's not too it's not bad if you do. I think you just coup that back, don't you? Yeah, I would coup that back with duck. 
I'm not that worried. With Blockade out, I'm not as worried if he wants to try and ops war me in France or something. I would have just taken also a duck. Around. Yeah, I would have just taken a duck coup when I ran there, I think. Now you're going to eat a coup in Panama, presumably. And maybe a destall. But okay, um, Tim takes Pakistan, and he's going to keep it too, barring a China flip, uh, because he does have IP war. So, question for you here. Let's say Justin Coos, which we... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, I was going to say... Now. Now, now we're just popping Duck into Thailand. Yep. Okay, so if Justin Coos and Lois Defcon... Would you rather hold IP war through and make sure you do not lose Pakistan and India, or would you rather event it and take your two to four VPs? Uh, I'd hold it because I don't have a, I don't have another good hold candidate. Um, I, I'd get, I'd concede the two VPs. I also am kind of ahead here. Like, yeah, we're gonna you're, you're gonna we're gonna drop five VPs on Europe, um, but we but the board doesn't look bad, especially if we don't if we don't eat a D stall. Which now is seeming more likely that we won't. Justin because... not playing like a person who has destall. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I, so I think this has to go Thailand. One. I might just block Malaysia, honestly. Yeah, Malaysia is not bad here. I was going to say Indonesia, but you're right. Malaysia is better. Yeah, I like Thailand. Malaysia, I think, is fun. Mm. Okay. I, I mean, I do understand, you know, we don't want Pakistan flip, but we do have the war in hand. We, it's a 50, 50 shot. And he, if he gives us China card to flip it. Yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to see, like, I'd have liked to see us block off Malaysia. Now, even just a one up play one Burma, one Malaysia is annoying. Yeah. yeah and we and can't, that's exactly what he's going to do here. Yeah. And we can't take both. Um, so now we're probably. I mean, we can put two in India and one in Indonesia if we want. But yeah, I, I really liked the Malaysia just block off the path to Indonesia yeah. there. Yeah, I'd be thrilled to see Justin give me China to, to flip Pakistan uh, there. I, overprotecting Pakistan at some point is going to matter, but I don't think Justin would do it now. Uh, there's a with a lot a lot more going on on the board. Okay, so Tim's going to take out of Tim's going to take out of Austria, and presumably Justin will just go one Burma, one Malaysia. Yeah, that's that's what I would expect. Tim, I imagine, stepped away or something because this isn't a real decision. Yeah. Um, so let, well, let's talk about it. Justin's going to go Burma, Malaysia. You have three ARs left. DEFCON's at three. You're in a position to lose three mil ops. You, you need to protect Indonesia, um, but you also want to protect India. You also want to coup, and you also want to score Europe. And you only have three ARs to do all those things. Yeah, I think... I think I might go Warsaw 1, Indonesia 2, India, and kind of dare him to fill it. Because, again, we do have the IP war in hand. Um, and you can either IP war last day. I would score Europe AR5 no matter what, pretty much. And then uh, the last turn, you can figure out if you want to event IP war or hold it until next turn and coup with Olympic or something. Oh! That is a surprise. Uh, that, that one op to me... I is it was a perfect opportunity to go Burma, Malaysia, and threaten and use your Vietnam bonus threaten threaten Southeast Asia. That suggests maybe he does have D stall. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, I mean, if you get Indonesia there, and uh, if you if you bully your way into India and Indonesia, you could set up your own Asia dome, um, unless Tim's willing to fill Japan. But yeah, so maybe he does have D stall. That I'm very surprised by the Truman coup there. Yeah, I am also. Although if he has D stall, I don't know. As you mentioned, D stall food is an issue here for Justin. Um, I don't know that you want to give Truman before you D stall. That's a valuable point. You can, yeah, and there it is. So what, where is he going to take Finland? Obviously, one Vietnam. He's going to take. Oh yeah, and then one out of each. One out of yeah. each, and East EEU is unseen. Yeah, maybe maybe that's his hold card here. Yeah, I think you've got to hold EEU if that's your if that's your plan. Um, 
and then deal with it next turn. So, okay, that's a big D-stall. So you've got two into South America and one Angola and then Libya. Um, so yeah, Libya is good. So this will clearly be Libya and you don't need to take Venezuela to two because you cooed him out of Panama. So South America still looking mighty thin. And now Tim with the option to take his two VPs, maybe four, but put a problematic event back in the deck or give Warsaw with East Germany and Poland both at three, which is also annoying. Yeah, you could space Warsaw, but I, I think these ops are too important. I honestly, I, I would fail them, but I might just take some realigns here. Um, Venezuela, Angola, Chile in that order. Yeah. Uh, you got four op. You got four ops to do it. So I mean, I think statistically speaking, you're likely to get at least Venezuela, and then I think Angola is a decent chance. Yeah, I, I like this from Tim. I would have been fine taking Egypt, uh, although with Nasser Nasser coming, maybe not great. I don't mind taking Asia Dom. Okay, we got some ops here. Um, we got three four ops, and we control Nasser, which is nice. Obviously, the IP war hold, and we draw two other war cards as well. And all three of those four ops are redraws, correct? I believe so. I believe U.S., Japan. I believe Tim got NATO initially, uh, Justin, UN, U.S., Japan, and then Tim, yeah, Tim got Tim Purge. Purge. Yeah. So, I mean, this is pretty great. Like, Justin over there, he knows, I think, four of these cards. They're pretty bad. He's thinking, okay, Tim maybe doesn't have that strong of a hand this turn, and he's going to get hit by several four ops. Yep, and so Tim now, or excuse me, Justin, probably going to wind up short on ops to fill up South America. So Justin wants to spend three in the top half, probably four in the top half of South America, and another four in the bottom. That's eight, um, and he's not going to be able to do that. Probably also wants to fill up Iraq, take a Middle East Dom, uh, and Justin's going to be a little bit ops starved here. Yeah, I, I don't know if he this was a real threat or just you know something to make Tim spend some ops, but I think with the purge you need to just abandon any sort of Europe attack and just take a little coup on um, Iran there and oh, then start yeah. spreading. Oh, with this board, I, I I wouldn't even think even if even without the purge headline, um, there's no question you have to coup here. The board way too vulnerable. You can't allow a coup in Venezuela or Angola here. This is just a nice, easy coup of Iran. How oh, that Israel op is really annoying. Yep. Yeah, so Tim can go back into Israel. Tim does have Nasser, which he's probably triggering uh, this turn. Tim does have double space, though, an uncontested double space. Yeah, so you, you obviously are you're retaking Iran. Iran. Um... This is fine. Yeah, retaking France is not that important, but Tim doesn't have a better use of his ops, really. I like getting one into Iraq. I would have been fine getting one into Israel, um, but just to, just to see if he can do some damage here in the Middle East. Yeah. I'm curious if Tim is going to end up spacing both of those war cards um, just so to save himself one VP on mill ops here. Oh, another a UN redraw oh, with Marshall. That brutal. Hurts. Yeah, and Justin heard you on the on the realigns. He's going to prevent that. Yeah. Okay. So that you, you, there's no realign threat anymore. So now I think you just start spacing because what else are you going to do on this board? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, and Justin's going to space. I'm fine spacing AI War too. Yeah, don't give the mill up. Don't give the extra points. And all three, three rolls, three Whoa. misses. What a bummer. So are you going to hold, I'd probably just, you know, empty AR sock govs, I guess USJ to at least fill Mexico and then IP war event and well, hold Nasser USJ, maybe. USJ needs to go at least one into Japan. Right. On I this think that's, board. I think that's reasonable. So yeah, I think this is. I think you. I think you get rid of sock govs. It's an empty AR. This is fine. Okay, Tim hits the roll, so he'll get three VPs out of that. That's a pretty nice swing. Yeah, and I'm always happy to see uh, East Germany and Poland at four going into the mid war with Warsaw gone. Yeah, that means the Pope yeah. is a real problem. 
And even if we're not going for Europe control, you know, just flipping Poland gives us back could give us help us get a Europe dom here. So yeah, pretty important. I think now you take your empty AR sock goes. I think that's fine. Just get rid of it. I guess you're holding Nasser. You know, you hate, obviously hate to hold Nasser, and then the USSR gets Sadat and just plays it real quick. I with AI War gone, I would like to see Tim get back into Israel. What else yeah, are we like doing you with said, these ops? I would have rather seen that go one Israel, one Saudi, but okay. Like it, you know, you are progressing toward a domination, I guess. Or maybe he maybe he's gonna hold Sock uh and just give Nasser and then use the Nasser op to fill Saudi and stop Dom. That would that's th- an okay, annoying okay. redraw. Oh yeah, that's also that's an annoying redraw. Okay. All right, that, that play makes sense. You're not even gonna bother with Egypt. You just give Nasser and now the Middle East is a draw and you just hope we don't see Muslims turn four. Yep. And Egypt can become ours before Middle East if we get lucky on that. Yep. This looks like a hand I would honestly might just Kennedy. Um wow. Well, Jesus. Seven oh no. three ops. And no no cards of any other ops value. Um I don't know. It's tough. Like the most of these events aren't that bad. U two's not bad. Cultural's not bad. De Gaulle and Sokovs are empty ARs, but do you yeah. want to just hunt for something better? I think, you know, with Europe, it, without Europe, I, I'm absolutely playing this hand. This is a very playable hand. Um, but with Europe in my hand, this is, which was, we're, we have no events to contest Europe. This is going to be, that would be a guaranteed 5 EP loss. Yeah, you got to, you got to Kennedy this away. Southeast Asia is the question. Do you want to keep it or not? Um, I might dump it here. I think um, I would dump it as well. Um, I hope it comes back later when it's more filled. Yeah. Right now it's only one VP. Now we could we could make it three, but I don't think we want to be spending our ops that way. I'd rather I'd rather try and get some events and some ops that I can use to contest the mid war regions. So so what are you dumping here? Obviously Europe and Quag. I'm and hanging Sock on to goes. cultural, and I think, yeah, and UN is gone. I'm hanging on to U two as well. Mm, okay. Tim wants to yeah. dump it. He is going to hold Southeast Asia as well. Okay. Well, I would have. Okay. I would have dumped the same number of cards. I think I would have just dumped Southeast and kept you two, like you said. Yeah. But okay, Tim gets some good events. Um, not he doesn't get good ops, but he gets good events. Puppets, pro, puppets, almost certainly an event. I mean, it's definitely an event. You're going Nigeria, Panama, and something else. Uh, brush, obviously an event, guaranteed flip of a of a two stab battleground, right, Jr. Hundred percent. It has never missed for anyone yep. ever. Um, okay. Oh, and there's CIA. What's CIA going to show? Garbage. Okay. So this is a that's, that's a, a bad that's a hand. For, that's a break for Tim. Uh, yeah, Justin's hand quite terrible here, uh, and he doesn't have double space. So we're probably looking at a CRG space and a bare hold. Yep. Uh, kitchen definitely not active. Cherry co- is kind of annoying here um, because puppet. I was thinking the last stop needs to go to uh, South America somewhere, but I guess we'll only have one non battleground, so Che's not a disaster. Yeah, so you're just going to take a coup on Zaire here and not roll a one. There you go. And then, yeah, I guess. What is pup? What is missile envy hit? Um, oh, that's a good question. Was it even... only bear trap or yeah. bear trap, bear trap, trap che. or Che? Bear trap, bear and trap che. or Che. Yeah, so does doesn't do you any good because he'll just it just hits Let's bear trap. You then you dump. Yeah. Um, then it dump you dump missile envy to the trap, and then you can space CRG or dump CRG if you miss a roll. Um, okay, so this is a, this to me is an AR one cultural. You kept Southeast Asia. AR one cultural. This needs to be cultural. Why is it not cultural? Yeah. That's a small mistake. Come on, Tim. Um, Come on, Tim. But yes, correct. This is this has to be cultural. You kept cultural to spend it right now. There's there's no reason not to do cultural. Yep. Not cultural. that we're ever going to event alliance this turn, but just just get it gone. Yeah, and so uh, you know, and a, a big a big play here in Asia could could spur a cultural. Yeah, no, that's that's just a mistake. Um, come on, Tim. The one VP so doesn't like, matter. Sometimes yeah, I've been in situations recently where I'm so behind that the one VP matters. 
This is not one of those situations. So you just take cultural, one Zaire, one Malaysia, one Philippines, or I'm fine with the South Africa fill as well. Yeah, I like the South Africa fill a little better, I think. Um, but either of those are fine. But yes, it needs to be done with cultural, not with Alliance for Progress. There we go, Timmy. Very nicely done. He gets there. Tim is not in the chat. I think he's doing his actual job. Um, if he were, he would he would have said, come on, I get there, guys. What's that like, doing your actual job? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I have one of those. Um, I do it sometimes. All right, so we have uh, here. So, he, just, so he, he ends up going with my play. One Zaire, one Malaysia, one Philippines. This all makes sense. So this is going to be – Southeast Asia should be three for Tim uh, if – Justin wants to take Burma. It'll just be two. And then... So, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So we expect probably a bear trap hold here. Um, how do you feel about Missile Envy on AR7 in that case? I like it, but man, I like a Pope on AR7 even more. Okay. Um, although I guess, I guess if you're going to... You could uh, Missile Envy AR7 Pope in the headline for the same effect. Yeah, yeah. Europe is scored, so I guess there's not much urgency. Okay, big three ops. Uh, so I, I would just dump southeast. Uh, we're not gonna. It's it's not gonna get better for us. Get rid of an obligation. Um, if Justin were going had a card like Junta, or what, we we know Justin's entire hand. What am I saying? Um, so I, I would just dump Southeast Asia. Then we can do puppets. Uh, fill up to take Nigeria and Panama. We do need to fill South Africa. And OPEC obviously is a non-starter. I like this one to Peru. Do personally. you though? Because uh, what about the mill ops situation? Justin doesn't have a path to mill ops, does he? He doesn't. That's a good I think point. He's, I think he has how I learned. So I'd like to make him event that. Of course. Hey. Now you also could just say, "Well, go Peru, Nigeria, whatever." You know, if he coos that, then he coos it. What um, if, uh, if if we don't want to give mill ops, you could even go Burma and just try and sneak one extra VP out of Southeast Asia, um, or Czech. You could go Czechoslovakia with dreams of future realigns. Uh, that's that's really speculative, but okay, I get that. Uh, all right, so Argent, okay, goes Argentina. Why not Venezuela there? Oh, oh, because because the sorry, what am I saying? Of course, because the better roll. And what did he roll? I think he rolled a three, didn't he? Um, I didn't see the roll. I believe actually. he rolled a three and would have missed on Venezuela. So uh, my mistake on that. I had assumed Justin would fill it up, but of course he was purged on turn three. Uh, wasn't able to fill South America, so he will be filling it now. Oh, um. Yeah, uh, Peter's suggesting something in the chat that makes sense. Uh, Greece is an excellent target for the last puppet top. Marshall is gone. Uh, so you're not getting into those other two Mediterranean countries without an event like puppets. Um, you know, that's a that's a good long-term play. It is. Even if you get one of those, which is probably about the best case scenario there, it's going to be difficult to get Dom still. Uh, right now it's five to two. So it might maybe become six to three. I mean, it gets you closer for sure. So maybe that is the good long-term play, but I, yeah, I think it's, I, you it's going to be tough. Assume you fail UK and Canada, it's it, then it's 5-4. So then Greece would make it 5-5. Five, five. So right. maybe you're in a position where you can, you can fight a little bit. Um, okay. So here we are. This now is puppets. This, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I like playing puppets when we're when we're gonna follow up. So I think okay, yeah, I got space CRG. Now, what is now Justin? Still, it's still it still would be bear trap, obviously. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, Peru's fine now that we've got Argentina. Okay, I, I liked the Greece play, and I don't like Peru this late. Um, because now that, that just that just throws away two VP on a coup, right? Yeah, probably. But it was pretty likely Justin would go to uh, Uruguay otherwise. 
And then we would have to go to Paraguay, and then he can coup that one instead. Ah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. And Justin missed the roll, so Tim's play looks like a good one. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, I think that should be AR7. Maybe Tim's thinking about what I was thinking with uh, Missile Envy here. Yeah, I kind of like your your play of Missile Envy AR7 to take Bear Trap, and then you can event Pope in the headline and guarantee, almost guarantee yourself uh, a flip of Europe if you want to, uh, or you can draw something better and headline that. Right. And it's it's, it's kind of nice almost uh, to Missile Envy pull the Bear Trap with it going into a new turn because he'll almost certainly have at least one card he wants to actually put in the trap so yeah making him spend just missile envy instead is pretty annoying yeah i like taking panama taking south africa and saharan is interesting here give you africa dom but i think taking panama and peru is better um so yeah i think panama peru he, he was thinking saharan that's fine Um, what else is fine? Asia doesn't really need anything. Oh, it, we do need a second in Japan. Yes, that's very important. Uh, Justin, I'm going to step away for just one minute. A My mortgage loan person is calling me, so I will be right back. All right, go pay up. Yeah, uh, a second in Japan is important. Neither player really thinking Japan at the moment. All right, Uruguay, I, I like Saharan better, but okay. I guess maybe, oh, uh, this is probably, okay, yeah, I, I, this makes sense. Uh, probably to forestall even realigns on Argentina, which is an issue. Yeah, Tim thinking about Missile Envy. I like, I like an AR-7 Missile Envy. I like an AR-7 Pope, uh, but I think Missile Envy is better. Then you hold the Pope. There's no, there's no huge rush on John Paul. Um, we can save it for, we can put, we can headline it if we don't get anything better. Uh, if we do get something better, you can save it for AR7 next turn when we don't have Missile Envy. But yeah, I like Missile Envy sniping Bear Trap and probably getting us a coup. This is one reason I would have liked to take Africa Dom if we could. Or excuse me, take an African non-battleground. That way our AR1 coup gives us Dom. Yep, and Justin's going to go with a realign. Yeah, he does go with a realign on Argentina. Yeah, that makes sense. Try for the one-op Hail Mary even realign. And Justin's going to snipe Bear Trap. Or excuse me, Tim going to snipe Bear Trap. I think that's a good play. And now Justin has to dump Bear Trap. Or dump Missile into the trap next turn. Okay, and Tim gets uh, some garbage. So Tim gets OAS, which I'm sure he's happy to get. Um, Panama Canal does very little. Ugh, what what are, what are you doing here? Uh, I, you could think about a South American South America headline, um, but oof. Tim gonna and certainly Justin gonna headline ABM or Junta if he has it. I guess this has to be an. I think this has to be an OAS headline. Uh, too risky to headline South America and do a potential junta or ABM. See, I'm going to hope to get South America off for minus two. Yeah, this has to be OAS. Yep, and uh, no surprise there. So I sus this should be some mix of Panama and Argentina could be Panama coup Panama could be Argentina coup Argentina oh just goes entirely for Argentina hits the roll okay now this just has to be two Brazil okay okay yeah that's that's better okay well Sorry, folks. Okay, so Tim is going to, I don't know what, what we'll do with JR. So Tim dumps South America. Instead of taking Brazil, he just decides to dump South America for minus three. 
So that's uh, that is an interesting play, but I'm yeah I think it's pro- probably a pretty good one because uh, otherwise Colombia gets taken. So I think that's fine. Tim now with Central America Dom. So I would expect we would just see a nice coup of Haiti here from Justin, or Justin may just go Nicaragua, Brazil, and if he does that, we will. Um, I suspect Tim will just dump the score and dump the scoring for two. I don't know if Tim wants to get into a coup war in Central America with this crappy hand. Yeah, this is just going to be a Haiti coup. Okay, not a particularly good roll. I would coup back. I would coup back with a three and try and maybe think about arms race. Okay, and now Tim decides to take Brazil. I'm a little confused by that. See if we can get JR back on the air here. He did, he, he accidentally ended the meeting that we were on. So, okay. All right. There's Middle East for Justin. So he picks up um, a 3VP domination there. Tim going to now try the coup. Don't roll a 1. Yep, rolls a 4. Now I suspect, and see, that's kind of why I would have liked a 3, because Justin's probably going to respond to that by taking Nicaragua, and you could get Arms Race off. But you, we used Arms Race to take Brazil. So that is fine, and it makes sense. Brazil probably worth more than 3VPs in the long run if we can hold on to it. Oh, it's a dot to take Nicaragua. And then, yeah, Tim with a choice here. He's He could score his domination or he could take Egypt. I think he probably would rather take Egypt. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you can give that back. And then, yeah, you don't want to go Guatemala here. Yeah, Colombia is better. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna see if we can get Jr. back on this back on the stream. Hold on, just one moment. JR, and we're back. We back? All right, we're back. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and... Sorry about that, folks. Um, don't buy a house. They make you do a bunch of stuff. It's too confusing. All right, you disabled participant screen sharing. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. Um, I'll just watch on your... Uh stream that's fine it's like a two second delay okay all right so we will uh we can continue so um when did when did you uh when did you leave uh no i i was watching don't don't worry about it just just oh, resume oh okay you were watching uh okay yeah yeah resume resume where it uh resume where it left off i had it i, I had it muted but it was on okay all right so here we are. So Justin going with a China card play here. Oh, and what a surprise. Whoa, what a surprise. He takes Japan. Yeah, and uh, as you said, that's just that that was a mistake. We played USJ on a what turn three, so that's yep. that's an easy fill um, to block an Asia doll, and there it is. Yeah, and this is a board where Japan is critical. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe Tim gets it back in the late war, but you have to read. Tim has to be the one to redraw USJ, so that's a big if. Yeah, that's it's a six VP swing there. Uh, e- even if Tim does get US Japan, which great, that's a six. That's a one time six VP swing, which could be important. Okay, uh, so I, I suspect we will see the Pope evented here unless we see a nasty quagmire. But no, quagmire was dumped to Kennedy, so forget about that. Now we're going to see a big four up. Maybe we'll see something jammed. Yep, going to just jam Brazil. Timmy won't respond to that, and he's just going to event. Which I Pope. think. Yep. I think that's right. Like you, you can't, you you couldn't fully repair that even if you wanted to. So just. Yep. You take the Pope and move on. 
Okay, pretty nice hand here for Tim. Um, he gets Muslim, which I'm sure he's happy to see. And that's look, that looks like an easy hold um, to turn seven through the reshuffle. And then a space on turn seven. Uh, no other problem cards. Camp David is a fine event with Israel empty. Uh, Portuguese painless. And then green is an easy headline. Yeah, no, this is this is great. Um, Muslim absolutely getting held here and then spaced never to be seen again is awesome. Um, Ande and Portuguese are pretty harmless as far as this board goes. So I yep. think this is easy grain. And if you draw a small card, I'm cooing Angola. If I draw a big card, I might think about Brazil. But now nah, I'm probably just cooing Angola no matter what. Africa is the only I unscored region. I yeah, think this yeah. has to be an Angola coup. Yeah, I agree. And I was wondering why Tim was taking a while, but of course he has headline peak, so he couldn't pick a headline even if he wanted to so justin for his part uh could have abm uh we've seen junta we've seen Bru we've seen junta we've seen brush um we've seen we will bury you cmc and how i learned so in terms of degraders i don't think there are any remaining so tim's gonna get his coup in africa now i believe decal is around is that right because uh, tim i think space decal turn one Correct. I've not, not seen, seen it, since, it then. since Okay, Gunman. Yeah, that's. Yeah, Justin's going to be disappointed with what he sees in Gunman. We're going to see a grain coup in Angola, and then Gunman's probably just going to take Brazil, right? Yeah, I think I think that is correct. Very sad to Gunman into. Uh, oh, mm, I don't like that. I'd just give Willie. I would return. Yeah, I would do exactly this. We're not in any danger of Europe control. I would just give Willie. Justin's got to take back Poland anyway. He's not going to ops war you in West Germany. Yeah, I guess that's a fair point. I was I was thinking about giving it back because I don't want to fight that. But yeah, there's no Def way. Defcon's already yeah. Defcon's already two, so he's instantly refilling Poland, and he's not going to fight you in West Germany. Yeah. Also, what's out there? VOA VOA is out there. Um, so that's an auto space. What other bad U.S. stuff is out there? And it's probably an auto hold if he has VOA, so it would be really nice to make him space it so it at least gets back into the deck for the late war um, rather than holding some bad U.S. card through to turn seven here. Yeah, I would I would like to see Tim take, take Willie. Um, Europe is scored. You don't have to worry about that. So I, I think I think you take Willie and it costs you an op and a VP, um, and it, but it, the the cutting of the hand size is important. Yeah, Justin may be thinking about. Uh, oh, Peter just said this in the chat. Yeah, I was think I was gonna say Justin maybe has Africa, so he's debating Poland versus Africa. Um, I think I would retake Poland before I dropped africa well what he could poland do just... is he could just put the gunman op into poland and then drop it because so tim can't take it in one play uh and then concede brazil yeah that's true um if he concedes brazil he can just coup colombia later in the turn and have a nice south america dom yep taking his time on this one though yeah, I, that, that can be the only thing he's thinking about. Otherwise, this is a pretty... There's no rush to space. This is a pretty clear, just take Brazil back, take Poland back. Oh, okay. What are we What are we doing here? Oh, we're going to salt for brush. What? What's his brush target? What's he aiming at? All right, we're going to salt for brush. Only unscored region is Africa. I I guess um, this gives him a coup in Africa, and then he could potentially brush to flip Africa as well, but I don't love that. But Okay, I mean, so could... Justin's thinking, okay, Tim doesn't have a good coup target here. If I'm Tim, I'm just going to wait for Justin to coup, I think. Yeah, take... Th I'm not that worried about an overprotected coup on like an overprotected Thailand being cooed without the China card or something under salt. I mean, yeah. What about just put three ops in Poland? 
I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna use Muslim, and I don't think you're probably gonna use China. But you could just take Poland here, just flip it. Now, obviously, that's a disaster if Justin has ABM because then Poland is getting realigned. Um, but I think if Justin had ABM, we would have seen it instead of Gunman. Gunman is not nearly as strong a headline as ABM. And even ultimately, like, if he just ends up using ABM to realign only Poland, that's not too terrible for us. Since he could have just taken Poland back in the first place. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just retake Poland before doing this play. Like, he, I, I feel like Salt AR2 would have been just fine as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a weird play from Justin. But I, I think I would pretend that DEFCON is two and just go about my business and let Justin coup. Uh, you also, I mean, you also could just do duck something like two Poland and then go something like Zimbabwe. Yeah, this is fine with me. This is completely fine with me. I think both of the friendly China cards are around. Nixon and Usuri, both around cultural gone. If we play China here, you're probably getting it back. Gunman is gone. I'm fine using China here. Yeah, I think it's a perfectly fine use. Like you said, um, we're almost certainly getting the China card back. And uh, cultural's gone. Yeah, why not just take Poland? It's This I don't minimum. like. Minimum. Okay, well, we're going to roll a six. under on a one op, as, as, Essentially a one-op coup of a two-stab with a uh, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, it worked, so good for you, but that's crazy. I didn't like that play at all. Because you're probably, probably going to do nothing with that coup. Okay, then and there's Nixon. So this will just be Nigeria coup. Oh, and Justin misses. Okay, Justin's salt is, goes terribly for him. Okay, yeah, that's what a disaster. Uh, so now, do you ignore Poland and spend duck to uh, go South Africa and Algeria take Africa control no I don't think Tim had the excuse me I don't think Justin has the scoring I think if he had the scoring we would have just seen him dump it there instead of eventing salt I uh, right. jumped it dumped it for just two and now he got into him got himself into a much bigger problem um Yeah, if, if Justin doesn't have a suitable card, brush for ops to take Algeria is fine here. You need to hold on to something. Okay, does have a does have a guilt free four. But yeah, if, if he did not have that, you almost have to just play brush for ops to take that, so you don't get controlled in Africa. Okay, at this point, I'm fine. I mean, that's fine. Take Dom in case Justin has the scoring. I do not believe that Justin has the scoring. And yeah, Peter says, how big would the op, the op be in Greece right now? That looks like, you know, that could could uh, be the difference yeah. in the domination. Okay, That'd there's Brush. Will we see it in Africa? No, going to go right for Thailand and hit it. I don't understand that. Wow. I don't understand that. Um, because Southeast Asia scored. Asia is scored. Um, and that's not going to affect Dom unless you lose Japan. All right. Uh, sorry, but you know what? I, I, ex sorry. Explain that one to me, JR. No, I, I don't understand it. Southeast Asia, like you said, Southeast Asia scored. He's not even going to get his own Dom in Asia, probably. I mean, it should be pretty easy for Tim to block this on country count, I would think. Yeah, it's six six on country count, so Tim can take Afghanistan. If Tim just puts one in Afghanistan, that means Justin has to take both Burma and Taiwan to get Dom. Right. I, I, if I was if I was Tim, I would fill some uh, Asian countries just to prevent that. Now, I think. Oh, okay, independent Reds also a really annoying event. For Justin, I I would have strongly considered spacing that um, because now Justin has access to Turkey, and you lose Romania. Now just two ops into Turkey, and uh, and uh, Tim has Dom in Europe. Yeah, that's a that's a big play. Um, yeah, yeah, and Tim got yeah, and and as as I was talking about Europe. Justin got realigned out of Cuba and lost one in Algeria as well. I think I would like to see the Camp David event still um, yep. used I, here. I agree. I think Camp David event is good. 
contest Israel, hold these two, hold these two cards, um, hold the, Portuguese until Africa is scored. The other thing worth considering, I guess, with that would be filling South Africa, because if Justin gets Africa scoring next turn, um, he might be able to get away with it um, if we aren't careful here. Yeah. We also haven't seen SAU, have we? Uh, or or Decal. Now, Decal is not going to do anything in the battlegrounds, but obviously could take enough non-battlegrounds to stop Dom. So we, we've not seen Decal. I think, if yeah, and, had it, I think if Justin had it, we would have seen it by now. So it's a question of who's going to get it turn seven. Yeah. It also would set up some realigns on uh, Nigeria there, probably. Yep. So Justin tries his brush and hits it, but he goes Thailand instead of Nigeria. Obviously, the other big unknown card is ABM. I just think Thailand has such a low odd of impacting the domination in Asia ever, even ignoring, you know, scored versus unscored. Like, I just, I, I would have rather seen it on, like, Egypt yep. than on Thailand. That I don't understand. Maybe try, he, trying to prevent a VOA. Okay. I mean, but still, I w if I had VOA, I would absolutely ignore that. That's very yeah, ignorable. Yeah. Um, I mean, I might even ignore it with Camp David. I want the VP of Camp David, and I want the one in Israel. Yeah, and if he wants to give you a coup next turn yeah, to try I, and fight you. and I would have ignored that. Okay. So, uh, Tim gets ABM... And he gets Africa, but Justin gets decal. Tim gets a known defectors, I'm assuming, based on where it is in his hand. Yes. So I think that's unplayable. I don't I don't I wouldn't risk that. Well, yeah, it's the challenge. You have to if you're Justin, you have to headline something that's good enough that so that Tim has to headline defectors instead of something else. Um, but not so good that it's devastating to get defectored. And yeah, maybe that was a quick decal headline, so maybe Justin forgot about it. Yeah, that's possible. Because um, that really seems like something you want to event. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you could have invented something else. You coup Nigeria, and then Tim fills South Africa, and then you can event decal, and now it's hard for Tim to get the Africa scoring off, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I don't know what else. I don't know what else Justin had. Um, if Justin had something maybe slightly less nasty. Okay, this is yeah. You want to take a huge coup and hope you hope you can massively outroll. Okay. Okay, so you yeah. do do that now. Tim good. doesn't play ABM. He just fills South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Correct. But yeah, I mean. This is why I would have liked to have decal because yeah. at this point, decal just even into four one stab non battlegrounds. Tim's like, okay, I guess I'm not ever scoring a domination in a eight Africa. Yeah, you just go decal into Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Sudan, and Ethiopia. All of a sudden, you got seven countries to four. There is absolutely nothing that Tim can do about that. Yeah, and if you really wanted to, you could even have cooed Zaire instead of Nigeria, and then you surround Nigeria when you do that. So Tim. It, is worried about realigns and really has to score it kind of yeah. right away. Okay. So Justin going to concede the Africa domination uh, in order to get Cuba back and not be controlled in central. I think that's reasonable. And very like Tim, obviously not going to just fill Cuba here. That's too risky. Too risky, but and Justin also passing up three VPs to fill Cuba, and then Tim uh, Tim gets three of his own by spacing Muslims. So ABM, are you just going Brazil here? Is that probably the plan? I'm. I think I'm holding it to AR seven, uh, and then going Brazil, so it doesn't just so that if I miss, it doesn't just immediately get repaired. Clear, right. to, yeah. Justin clearly doesn't have the scoring. And yeah, here, just going to repair Angola. That's fine. Now, of course, Justin probably knows we're going to hold it to AR7, and so he'll he'll want to make a play that annoys us. I believe Justin also has Usuri in his hand. Yeah, I think that's right. It is a little risky holding it. I mean, he probably doesn't have Missile Envy, but that is a round to be grabbed. 
Okay, Tim just gonna take his coup. He needs his mill ops anyway, and you're gonna roll a one. All right. Excellent one, Timmy. So now I think this needs to be shuttle to Burma, Afghanistan, because you need those eight countries to block country count. Yep. So we we talked about we talked about Thailand that it wouldn't matter for Dom, but Taiwan will will be Dom for Justin. So Justin gets spent a two op, Garden Variety two op, one Taiwan, one Brazil. That does give him Asia Dom. And then Tim needs to. Yeah, Tim needs to take Afghanistan, or you uh, alternatively could uh, could take Afghanistan and event shuttle if you really felt the need to. Oh, wow, okay. So Justin's going to go Brazil, Taiwan, and what's the last two here? Doesn't go. Goes to Brazil and overprotects. Does Gosh, not I, go Taiwan. Why not just take your dom? Also, if you're going to play China like that, why not just play? Okay, I don't understand that. This is a 50-50 between you, Surrey, and something, right? Yeah, I don't understand that. I would have rather just given you Surrey and give the China card away. Right? Yeah, I, I think so. Aren't you aren't you better off just giving China that way than playing China for for a four op? Okay, and then yeah, you got you got one you got one extra op. Yeah, I don't know, I I don't, and and now Taiwan doesn't really matter. I mean, no, Taiwan just doesn't really matter now. Tim flipped Lao, like the country count is over in Asia. Yeah, it only matters if Tim gets U.S. Japan. Tha Thailand is a great was a great flip for Justin if Justin didn't also have Japan, but he's playing as if. Tim is definitely going to get Japan. Um, Alternatively, it could have mattered more if that Truman had not been a coup and he'd gone to Burma and Malaysia and threatened country count in Asia earlier in the game. That's right. We didn't like that coup. We wanted him to threaten in Southeast Asia. So Burma is still sitting empty, but not that important a country right now. Okay, that purge is going to be annoying because now hostage crisis can't be spaced. It's going to have to be held. Which means we're going to have to give libs or China. Yeah, this is not fun. You could Star Wars for defectors. No, you can't. You... Oh, it's turned. Wait, why not? Oh, yeah, because it's after. It's after, of course. You're right. I forgot. I'm like, yeah. defectors still works there, but you're right. It does not work if you pull it with Star Wars. You could Star Wars for ABM, but I don't know. That seems like it can wait. Um, none of these are very good headlines. No. Star Wars for something is maybe your best headline, but I don't know what your. We, you, we don't Star need VPs from Evil Empire or Iron Lady. Um, you could purge it back, Peter. Peter saying that you could you could Star Wars and yeah, then pick up purge. I actually, I, I actually think that's fine. Yeah, I, I I like that Star Wars purge and back. I I think that's better than ABM, better than taking a three op coup with ABM. That's just going to get cooed back if you roll big. Ryan asking in chat if you pull defectors with five year plan. No, that wouldn't work if the Soviet headline's already gone off. Yes, right? if the Soviet headline is a four op. Pulling defectors with five-year plan does nothing. If the Soviet headline is a 3-2 or a 1, then yes, it works. Same deal yeah. with Star Wars, except Star Wars... Um, is a two-op. Is, so is a two-op, so it doesn't hit threes. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like this. I would Star Wars perch him back. I don't see a better use for Star Wars at the moment. No. And, and we I'm can't not hold big, it. Yeah, exactly. I'm not a huge fan of trying to hold it in the late war anyway. There's too many terrorism... Aldrich's around. Yep. I I don't remember when this was because I don't remember ever winning a game, but I won a game in the distant past um, because my opponent tried to hold VO, a known VOA for like three turns for turn 10. And on turn nine, I got uh, Aldrich. So I was like, well, that problem solved. Yeah. And yeah, Tim cannot, yeah, Arena Hostage Crisis is, is, is a complete disaster for him here. So he has to hold that which means he has to give a one-op South African and a one-op Libs, which hurts. 
We're going to dump War Games. I guess you do because we're ahead on the board, even though we're in War Games territory. The, uh, the I don't. Ooh, I don't know. What do you think about that, Jr.? I don't love dumping War Games because I want. Um, I want Justin thinking we might have War Games. Yeah, I'm keeping War Games. There's also it's very difficult to imagine a world where Justin gets into War Games. Star Wars War Games. Never mind. Peter's oh, okay. 100% right. Okay. Peter Star Wars 4 War Games. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Not that. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Correct play. Okay. Correct play. So good. Correct okay. Play. All right. Yes. That makes perfect sense. Um, so yeah. Yep. You're going to you're gonna coup and then Star Wars for War Games. Okay. Um, but Justin should know that's coming. If he has any VP in hand now, he has to score them. Yeah. Well, is he smarter than us is the question because we didn't know that was coming. Uh, we, we, we were like, keep War Games in the deck. No, obviously we want it. Uh, for Star Wars. Maybe Timmy was hunting for hunting for war games. That would have that's that's some five D chess. Yeah, that's a great that's a great play by Tim. Um that I mean, that is some five D chess. I would have just said, okay, Star Wars pr- probably isn't getting it better. I'll purge him back to make this turn less damaging. Um Omit will be an event later. Steady headlines Omic. Uh, steady headlines Omit. Yeah, Justin thinking hard here, so if, if he has some VP, he must play it. You know, if he has a, he might yeah. just place ops even. You know, he could he could place into Libya or something. Nope, GG. JR, you heard it here first. Tim Furrow is back. Tim Furrow has won a game of Twilight Struggle. He's back. And that's a great play by Tim that, yeah. I, did, that I did not see. Um, Tim in the, in, in a past life, uh, was one of the best in the world at this game. He has fallen off, had a, had a, an absurd losing streak to fall into the, I think the four hundreds of ITSR, um, got discouraged, kind of walked away from the game for a while, but he's back for Atlantic league and he wins this game, uh, with a couple of nice non-intuitive plays. Uh, and uh, that's a that's a really nice win for Tim. So congratulations to him, and I uh, hope it leads to, to bigger and better things for him, and I'm glad he's not in my group. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like I said w- during the draw, I would not have wanted Tim to be the, uh, like, pot five guy that got put into my group. So uh, tough tough luck for everyone there. And, yeah, excited to see more. Hope he keeps sending you games um, if he's not going to stream them himself. Yeah, uh, this yeah, this was a game that definitely. I mean, Jr. I think you would agree. There were a few of, of Tim's plays that we didn't like, uh, and we thought he needed to, that needed to be better. There were a few other plays of Tim's that we didn't like, but then we immediately understood later why he did them, and they turned out to be good plays. Um, yeah, and that's why you you know Tim Tim is is uh, you know he's he's a great player, and I hope we can get more of his games on this channel. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was a great game to watch. Um, that was a great play to win it there um very very smart by tim and yeah i mean the only thing that the the main thing that i really hated and it was just wrong was he needed to get one more off into japan at some point yes yes just 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 put one more in there yeah he when if you're gonna punt us japan on turn three like that yeah you and and japan stops domination like you, you he had three he had three turns to do it um and uh, yeah, he, he needed to do that. He needed to get the get the one in Japan. But um, other than that, thought Tim played a good game. Thought Justin played a, a, a fine game too. Um, and uh, just so happened that Tim Tim kind of got what he needed and got the War Games win by one VP. Uh, so starts out one and zero in Atlantic League, and hopefully a harbinger of things to come for Tim. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was that was a good one. That was a fun one to comment. There was some good back and forth there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good one. Definitely a lot of uh, interesting choices that both players had to make. Uh, and so Tim, uh, Tim Furrow, the 22, the 2022 Atlantic league champion starts off 2024 at one and Oh, so we will see more of Tim's games on, uh, on this channel, I hope, but uh, for now that will do it. Um, well played by Tim. Thank you uh, to Tim and Justin for providing this game. And uh, we'll be back on Saturday uh, early afternoon, two o'clock Eastern, with DC versus Ohio. Um, Ted and I will take on Peter France and crew uh, for in a huge U.S. Cup game. Winner is uh, in a great position to advance. Loser needs a win and some help later on. Um, so we're hoping to get that one. Uh, we we need it more than Ohio. We're two and two. They're two and one. Uh, so uh, look looking forward to that one. So uh, anyway, that's all for now. 
We'll be back on Saturday. That was fun, but now it's done. So long, everybody.